So sometimes in life you have to ask yourself a question. What's better than one amazing build? I would say two. Nest the God. What's happening, everybody? It is your boy Kendall Sharm with the one and only do, 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 Blue Over Media. And you know, you saw in the last video um, the amazing build um, from my man Dan with the the, the 2018 slash 1967 Tash GT 5.00 <laughs> 500. But it's amazing. But he didn't just have one for us; he has two. And when I tell you. Get ready for this next amazing car because it is hands down another crazy build and I'm going to have him break down this one for us as well. But let me give you a quick overview of this car and then we're going to talk to Dan and see what he has to say about it. So here we go. <laughs> and man, look at this right here. And here's the thing about it, like GT500 Super Swap, you see that. I mean, I'm going to have him go over it. I just wanted to give you a quick overview before I have Dan go over it. But, man, it may not be what you think. Because <laughs> this this has to be, he has to be one of the, the greatest builders I've ever met. And the way that he put cars together is amazing. And so I'm going to have him break down what he has done with this car so that we can get the full scenario. So, Dan, welcome back. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you feeling? I'm doing good. Good, so tell us a little bit about this car right here. All right, this is a 2012 Shelby GT500. I bought it brand new, brought it back and cut the entire body off with only 300 miles on the car. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me get in the light. Let me, did you all hear what he just said? He bought a 2012 GT500. Some of you all are, are dying to get one of those right now. He took it cut it up that you 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 have to be you you got to be a uh, an amazing builder to take a 2012 gt500 because those things are going for 50 60 000 today and and to cut it up and to do this so he's so let's get back to the story let me stop talking let me get back to the story so you said you took a 2012 yeah well i planned it for like a year you know got it. trying measuring everything and stuff before i actually bought it you know so then i, I did but you know buy it and i cut the like the entire skin off Got it. You know, and bought all the metal parts because everything for 67 is available. Got it. You know, because it, it started with there's, there's like an inner structure for the car. Mm -hmm. I, I did this one different than I than I did the other one. Got you. Because um, the, the entire outer structure came off. So I started with the inner structure around the door. Yep. And got those on. Uh, if you watch the time lapse video, you can see the order I did. And then you and then you fit the door that with the thing. Because this one, the whole windshield roof, everything was changed. So on this one. The proportions are all exactly the same mm -hmm. as, as an original one, except for the, the fender flares, you know, and the side pipes, things that, that stick out. Other than that, it's the exact same dimensions of an actual 67. So where can they find the time-lapse video? Uh, GT500 Super Swap. Got it. Yeah. Got it. That's on YouTube, correct? Yes, on YouTube. And do you have a website for this one too? Yeah, GT500.com. I love it. Yeah, you, there's a lot of photos and things like that of, of the cars. I love it. I love it. So let's do, man, let's walk around this thing and take an overview. First off, let me tell you something that sticks out to me. The, uh, your paint is always amazing, but what color blue is this? This is the, the cone of blue. I, I, like I said, I did everything except the paint. I had somebody else paint it. Got it. But the yeah. Kona Blue looks good with all these curves and stuff on it. It, it definitely it, it does. It really looks good. And when you get the direct sun on it, it, cha it, it totally it, changes. And with this, the white stripes and everything, I mean, this is definitely, definitely very, very pretty. And so you did, like, with the previous one, You know, let me tell you what I love about the most. I love still, it still has the the, the old school handles on it. I mean, yeah. that that is amazing. I mean, even in the front, let's look here. Even the bumper right here as well yeah i mean all, all chrome all chrome yeah, you chrome still looks good with that color you still did not leave out you know the beauty of when i look at this so when i look at this front end i'm like okay it has the you know the older look but then when you get up close you can see it has also some of the new stuff as well with the uh with the headlights i mean these lights right here and things of that nature i mean that grill i 3d printed it in six parts and glued it together oh yeah so I'm, like, I'm like this is not this is this is not a grill you're going to find online, guys. So if you're trying to go to uh, <laughs> online Googling this, no, you're not. He, he, he made this one. Wow. Wow. 
wow, this is amazing. So then another one, this did you custom make this one as yeah, well? Yeah. <sighs> Your attention to detail is so is so amazing. Let's talk about let's talk about these wheels also. So these are a set of 18s. What kind of wheels are these? These are Bo a Bozy Forged again. A Bozy Forged again with yeah. the Brembos on them. Yeah, because I bought these first and they were good, so I bought another set. It's yeah. slightly different. But. Slight, got it, got it. Tell me about the inspiration for this piece right here. Um, well, the main thing, proportion-wise, you know, everything's the same. But the, you know, the old 67s had, you know, six, eight inches of ground clearance on Got it. it. And, then, and then the newer cars are lower to the ground. So I, I had like six inches of space to make up down there to make it look right. Got it. Instead of doing a great big rocker, which would look funny, I, I did like a, a side pipe on there. Love it. And then added that little splitter like it does the new cars. I mean, that splitter. And then, like I said, it's, it's the small attention to detail. Like even this around the exhaust and having the set. And I love the hidden side exhaust like the pipe just coming out right there but it's kind of, it's kind of hidden as well that's electric cutout so there it's open exhaust and then the mufflers are out the back amazing and then here i love the the, the older window on here but man that i'm i'm ready to see the inside of that car because you can see that for you all that's not familiar with the uh, 2012s this this is that oh man yeah look look at this now does this have this has a roll cage in it? Yeah, I put a roll bar in it. Oh, okay, roll bar, got it. Four point. Four point. Yeah. Wow, look at the Recaro seats. I don't think. Any, wait a minute, this still has the new car smell. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I know you all can't tell on camera, but this still has the new car smell. And I'm like, look, you see the six speed. So I, I love the look at the door handles. Wow. Now, now, correct me if I'm wrong. These are not. This is not from a GT500. No. This door panel is, I think it's the TMI aftermarket the door panel. Got it, TMI, system. yeah. And then uh, these are the door handles from the 2012. So I, I made this this unit and stuff to hold it. And then the, put the the motor and stuff down there. I mean, the thing. I see, I mean, like I said, your attention to detail. Oh, man, look at the, got the wood. <laughs> like I said, your attention to detail. The, the speaker covers have a little Cobra in them. They're real hard to see. Wow, I just caught this. They're not, they're not noticeable. but Wow, the snake. That is, oh, dad, you 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 don't see stuff. <laughs> like, you 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 are just uh, this is this is amazing. But I mean, this interior, like I said, you all, you can't tell on camera, obviously, but it still has the new car smell. Look at this right here. I mean, you 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 did this well. You did this one well. I love the lip on this wheel. Yeah, uh, they're all, all metal fender flares too. I mean, yeah, love it, love it. That I mean that is an amazing lip. <laughs> wow. That is that is definitely definitely amazing. Wow. And then here. Oh wow. Look at that. I mean it, this is that this has that nostalgia feel and that nostalgic look. Oh, and I love the reverse lights yeah. at the bottom. I mean the feel the feel of this car is just just amazing. The, like everything about it is just Amazing. Let me ask you this. So <laughs> how often do you get to drive it now? Um, not that often, you know, because it's a lot to clean it. So, so I, I drive it on nice days only. Got it. And now I switch back before the... Before the yeah, now, because that's what I'm saying. With yeah. That's what happens when you have more than one. <laughs> it's kind of like, does it actually come out, you know? Yeah, uh, I just finished the other one. So that one's getting more attention this year. Of than, course. Than, of course. You know. Well, you know, everybody's asking, let's see under the hood. <laughs> And while he's doing that, uh, like I said, a lot of things you just cannot see on camera, but his attention to detail with putting these cars together, hands down, like one of the most amazing builds um, in both of the cars. You saw in the last video one, but then this one, I mean, it's the, the, the attention to detail is hands down amazing. And so um, with that, you know, he's taking new technology with uh, the older looking vehicles. And, you know, it's I, I just think that that's amazing. You know, it's going to make the ride quality different. It's going to make it more fun. Hey, him and the wife can even enjoy it a little bit better. And one is automatic, one is a stick. So that's even cool. So let me stop my talking because you all want to see the engine bay. Let's go. Yeah. Um, let me tell you something. That's a good looking engine. That is itself. a good look like, just by it. itself. <laughs> Oh man, I you know I'm just a big fan of supercharged motors. That's 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 my life at this point. Um, and you did well. Yeah, you got the K and N on here. Wow. So power wise, obviously this has more than the, your other car. Yeah. How, how uh, much? How much can you feel it though? Is it really to you know that would be an automatic and this one being a stick? How much can you feel the power difference? Oh, this one's got quite a bit more. Got power. it. I mean it's uh, 
it was 550 from the factory and I changed the super part the the smaller pulley the air filter and it's got a tune on it oh yeah so, so I'm, I'm guessing a little bit over 600 something of in there. course of course but it goes good it's fun <laughs> absolutely you have you have any idea how much this car weighs I have no idea you know, I'm assuming it's pretty close to what the other one was got it you know got it got it yeah now this is um this is like I said this is definitely definitely clean and this is gonna this is another showstopper too I know you can only drive one yeah. every time but this would definitely um catch everybody's eye I mean I honestly if both of these were at the show it would have been first and second place I can't say which one would have got first and which one would have got second would have had first and second place so, so now you have the even with the windshield wipers you chose the literally yeah that was one of the more difficult things in there cause really I, I used the motor from the 2012 right but uh you know because the, the 2012 the window came down to here you know so i had to shorten the dash and, and make the cowl in there and then make custom arms and all that to get that to fit in there and it was you know a little more complicated than what right. i thought it would be and it would take some time but they they work great got it you know because once that's welded on you can't take it off again. absolutely <laughs> understood yeah. so let me ask you this um how long did it take you to actually do this car uh four years of weekends four years look yeah. you all this is four years of weekends but then you were able to do the other car in, in a, a year, year because of yeah. <laughs> because of covid but, but my intention wasn't a four-year project I, I was ballparking about a year got it but it, it doesn't take that way you know but once you cut up a brand new car you can't stop you know? right <laughs> at all it's not like you can just go back oh yeah, i'm just gonna like, sell these parts like no nah, yeah, I, I, I just bought a brand time. new car i have yeah. to do this no yeah and i was making payments on it the whole time you know <laughs> <laughs> wait, you know, wait. Parts. so i want you all to imagine you just bought a car and you're making payments on it but it's all in the garage in pieces like and not just in pieces like you know you just bolt it back together no it's cut up in pieces oh this this is one of the this is one of the most boldest individuals i have ever met in my life but hey but it is, it's great not only is this a great car great content but these are things that the world needs to know but more importantly the ford community you all need to know about these type of cars and these level of builds and what's going on with it and so that's why um i, I love what i'm seeing here i love what he has done um with this one and i know you all are asking the next question well what does it sound like well let's go ahead and hear a first start but while he's doing that make sure you all go to blueovermedia.com and get your bleed ford blue t-shirts Make sure you go and get them right now. I'm shipping them out ASAP. But then also, uh, make sure you uh, support uh, what he has going on as well. He has a YouTube channel as well. And he also has stuff on Facebook. So make sure you check out his website and everything. I have all that in the comments below. But let's hear it start up. <laughs> This is definitely, truly. Like I said, his uh, his neighbors know him well. He gets along <laughs> with everybody. We start these two cars up, but I mean that is that is just hands down amazing. Anything else you want to let us know about this build? Anything else that was special that you did that wasn't said so far? Uh, I think I pretty much said it all. Just you can check out the the time lapse video. You can see it's you know go from start to finish. Got it. Got it. Well. Well, then I just want to say thank you again for not only just the amazing builds, but just being a great contributor to the Ford community, man. Like your contributions just keep this this type of stuff going and, and keep us motivated that are that are building cars. Not to this level. <laughs> I'm not ready for stuff like this, but love the contribution. And like I said, the, the type of stuff that is that is done here is just it's just simply amazing and that you all just need to see more. And so um, I'm trying to get them uh, to. to we're gonna try to give him a Mustang week at, at some point. Maybe not this year, but we're gonna try to give him a Mustang week because both of these cars could be in the convention center with with no problem. And man, I just I just love what I'm seeing here, and I love what he has done uh, with these cars. And so this stuff is amazing. I just want to say thank you once again thank you. Um, for for allowing me to uh, take a look at these cars and and just like I said, having such an amazing build. This is this is simply great. And so thank you for everything that you do. And man, I'm wishing you the best. So wait a minute, what's next? I don't know what's next. I, I got I to gotta work on the house. Things I've been neglecting yeah, for a understood. long time. It's understood. That's, that's most important. The house is most important. So before I get him in any more trouble saying stuff <laughs> about what's the next build, um, if you all like this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment below about what you felt about this car. But if it's a negative one, you're just a hater because this car is amazing. And so it's your boy, Kendall Sean with Blue Over Media. I am out.